For over 30 years, the Fillmore and Western Railway was operating on the former SP Santa Paula branch, primarily between Fillmore and Santa Paula, hauling tourist trains, with occasional trains going toward Piru on the eastern end. This came to an end in June of 2021 when the owner of the Fillmore and Western retired, and the company sort of retired with him. Six months later, the Sierra Northern was set to become the new operator on the line with the promise of returning the popular tourist trains again. While Fillmore and Western was still in business, we traveled to the Santa Paula branch to catch their annual Christmas train in operation, which was powered by their 280 number 14. The date was Saturday, December 2nd, 2017. We started off with their weekend excursion returning from Santa Paula with an F7 on both ends and a GP35 on the point. The Christmas train has just crossed Highway 126, east of Santa Paula, and approached our camera in push mode. The engineer kept whistling to the bare minimum at every crossing. It might be hard for some to believe, a century ago this was considered a main line by Southern Pacific. After the Montalvo cutoff through Oxnard was opened, this was reduced to secondary main line status. Eventually, the connection in Saugus was removed, and it became a branch line with fewer and fewer shippers. The train was dead heading to Montalvo, which is where the Santa Paula branch connected with UP's coastline. No turning facilities were available, so the whole train had to face east the entire way. West of downtown Santa Paula, the train continued westward. This part of the branch was still served by Union Pacific. Note the crossing gate on the right. The aging SP era signals timed out and reactivated. When that happened, the gate literally fell into the closed position. Since this line hasn't generated much revenue for UP, track and signal maintenance were kept to a minimum. With weeds taking over, the track took on an abandoned appearance.
Union Pacific still served one shipper in Santa Paula with perhaps one carload per month. The train left the Ventura County farmland behind and started to enter more populated areas as it worked its way closer to California's coast. This part of the branch has ribbon rail on slightly more well-manicured track. We're in the town of Satakoy. In 1887, Southern Pacific built a station here. Today it's in desperate need of a restoration. It's an incredible sight to see an old Baldwin passing a depot that's 26 years older than itself. Even though the track was in better shape here, the motion sensors in the track had room for improvement. Not all of them worked very well, and extra care had to be used when approaching these road crossings. Later, at the same Satakoy crossing, the official Christmas train headed east, with the engineer now laying on the whistle at every crossing. Santa Claus was on board to greet people along the way and spread a little Christmas cheer. The train made its way back into Santa Paula chugging slowly and drawing all kinds of attention on this chilly, festive evening. Since the branch has seen such light use, several of the downtown Santa Paula crossing signals have been shut off to reduce maintenance costs.
The aromatic fragrance of a wood fire permeated the air, and Christmas music was playing as the train sat in front of the Santa Paula Depot. We caught our final run by with number 14 departing Santa Paula. A modest crowd had gathered to watch the colorful train pull out of the station. We wish the new operator, Sierra Northern, luck in bringing rail service back to this historic branch. Hopefully Christmas trains like this can continue to operate for many years to come. Thanks for looking.